Hi, I'm Jim Oshinsky. Um, I've been doing this for probably like 30 years, you know, like since the beginning. Um, I had the privilege of meeting uh, David, David Darling, uh, through Paul Winter, because I was a fan of the Paul Winter Consort, and um, it was great to see um, a, a musician as free and as broad as he was, especially when he played with the consort, because they, they you know, just invented world music in a, in a popular way. Uh, what world music became, um, they were the pioneers. Um, at any rate, I wanted in my musical fantasies to be part of that jam band. Um, I was not enough of a, uh, a player, you know, to, uh, to hang with them in that way. But when they started offering workshops, I went. And that's how I got to, you know, play with people. Because there were musicians who were that excellent and that generous that they made affordable workshops open to the public and anybody could play with these, you know, luminaries. And then soon after, uh, I, I was involved because Paul Winter ran music villages that were week-long retreats that were multifaceted in a lot of different ways. But David was a guest at the first music village um, and he put forward a vision of an organization that would affect people and children and everyone and make music accessible. Um, so that everybody could be a participant in music rather than a witness and they would break down the barrier between the elite performers and the general public that everybody's musical and that just took root in me because I was a you know amateur jam band kind of guy um, but what came from that uh, in terms of how that is alive after doing this work for 30 years is I teach improvisation at a university uh, I teach at Adelphi I'm the only person on the music faculty without a music degree. I teach the improvisation ensemble. I've been doing it for five years. And we do all improvised concerts at the end. This is a required class for music education majors. And music ed majors aren't the only people who take the class because the other folks who come in are some music performance people, you know, who like doing improv. And some folks who actually have more experience with improv who are the jam band guys, you know, who are from the rest of the university. And um, just, just in terms of the model, you know, we, you know, just like we teach that contrast between ooh and yay or sound and silence is part of the compositional element for music. As a leader, group size between whole group, half group, small group, solos and such are among the compositional contrasts that you can use to sequence a concert. So they sequence, I show them how during the semester by modeling that in the group. And then at the end, they're doing that with each other independently. And they do an hour and a half improvised concert going from organically, from whole group to part group, you know, and they rise up as, because they're listening that well for what's needed next. And we know there are a couple of things we're gonna pre-stage and include, you know, so that everybody gets to play. Um, and that the things we want to feature get featured. And then I get up at the end, they, they say, you know, thank you, and I come up at the end and include the audience. And then, you know, this group of 15, you know, folks who've been improvising together the whole semester is, you know, in some hot jam or whatever. And then I bring in their parents and their friends who are, you know, sitting in the audience and we, you know, find a way of, you know, including them vocal or body percussion or something. And then I fade out the, uh, uh, the class and it's just the newbies playing and they're cooking you know um, and it's like this is what I mean that everybody's musical so that lesson I've been teaching at university level never would have happened if I didn't go to you know the music village and if I didn't you know start um, following the vision that David Darling started you know just to hang out with him as often and as long as I could to learn at his feet and pass along this part of it.